Yo, Guru Nation, how is it going? Welcome back to today. We have our next movie talk and predictions on one of my favorite movie series of all time, one of my favorite universes, the Star Wars universe. So, this video is going to be a prediction about, there's been lots of theory videos about who Rey is, what her lineage is in the new Star Wars trilogy. So, there have been lots of theories thrown out there. That she's a Solo, that she's a Skywalker, that she's a Kenobi, that she's a Palpatine. Um, I even heard someone somewhere say that she was a Windu, I believe. Uh, I'm not really sure how that works, but I won't judge. Anyway, today I am here throwing all those theories out the window because I have a brand new theory that I have not heard anywhere yet. And if this theory is out there somewhere, uh, I apologize for saying this is an original idea. I'm sorry if someone has already beaten me to it, but at least in my mind, this is my theory. This is what I think. So, after watching all the Star Wars trailers and everything, especially the last trailer, there was, I do agree with the people who said there was very convinc it was very convincing the way the trailer was set up for all the, scene, all the cues that pointed to Rey being a Palpatine. The, the trailer did cue that really, really well. It, 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 it was a real possibility. It, it, it seemed likely. But, there is also a big thing, trend going in, threaded about how the, the Jedi are dead, uh, the Sith are too far gone, and there's something in the middle. There's got to be a gray somewhere. There's a gray area. And that is going to be how the users of the Force survive into the future. At least that's what I believe. So, yes, one of the biggest hints to Paul Palpatine is Luke saying that he has only seen a power like that once before. And it didn't scare him then, but it scares him now. So, but, I don't think he's referring to Paul Palpatine, to be honest. I think he's referring to someone else. Some, yes, who was a Sith, but someone who was also a Jedi. I think he is referring to Darth Revan. Now, we all know that Luke went on a journey in search of the first Jedi temples. He probably went to Typhon and Jeddah and Octu, Coruscant. Um, there was a lot. A lot of searching he did, and of course he stopped on Octu. But, there is no clue or no knowledge as to what he really found in those temples. So that is up for conjecture. I think he found what happens when someone masters both sides of the Force. The power, the raw strength that comes with truly encompassing the Force all at once. And the closest that it... it I think I want to say happened to is Anakin Skywalker. He was probably the closest to, and of course he was of the Chosen One prophecy. But I think Rey, she is not a Palpatine, she is not a Kenobi, she is not a Skywalker, she is not a Solo. At this point, it would already would have been, I think, revealed. But I think she is the descendant of a long Force user lineage, a family that has been in hiding. For millennia. I think that she is the last living descendant of Darth Revan. Yes, everyone, I do believe that she is the last living descendant of the greatest, of the most powerful gray force wielder to ever exist in the Star Wars universe. So, why do I think this? Uh, well, is Similar, uh, actually, if you look back at the games, I know there were some people who said that the only ones who used that thrust style of star in lightsaber combat was Palpatine. That is, as far as the movies and the comics and whatever are concerned, I believe is true. But in the game where Darth Revan is in the games, I believe in the Old Republic games, if you look closely at some of the footage of him wielding a lightsaber, there are several scenes where he does that specific thrust move. So, that leads me to believe that is not set to Palpatine in that style. 
Also, he was extremely powerful with the Force in his Force abilities. And if you look at Rey, uh, she is, and the, how quickly she progresses from when within the span of a year or two or whatever, she has gone from a weak, normal girl to one of the most powerful Force users to ever walk in the galaxy. And she is just tapping into her power. So, I think that especially with the end scene where she and Kylo are, where she asks him that she needs someone to show her her place in all of this. I think she will fall. Not completely. I think she will go dark, right, towards the end of movie 8 and probably the beginning of movie 9. But, she will, about halfway through movie 9, final, everything will finally click. It'll fall into place. And she will come into her powers. She will have mastered the dark side. She will master it much quicker than Kylo. And she will truly master the abilities. She will fight, she will fall to the dark side, she will embrace it, but she will learn the, the biggest lesson is to embrace it, but not let it consume you. Now, I do believe that she, um, I mean, there's evidence of this in there being gray sort of Jedis uh, throughout Star Wars canon and the movies and the TV shows. Uh, Ram Koda, I believe, I think he's a gray Jedi. For the most part. Uh, Ahsoka Tano in Rebels is more of a gray, gray force user than a, solely a Jedi. I think Mace Windu is a bit of a, uh, is a gray Jedi myself, honestly. He's about as close as anyone can come to it personality-wise. So, and I also think Count Dooku was, he, I don't ever really count him as a Sith too much, despite his ability to use Sith lightning. He, he had morals. And he, um... What's the best way to put this? He wasn't insane. He wasn't crazy. He was smart. He was intelligent. But he wasn't nuts, and he wasn't consumed by the dark side. At all. At least I don't think so. I think Count Dooku is probably the closest, along with Mace Windu, uh, maybe Ram Kota, maybe Anakin Skywalker slightly, uh, to what a gray Force user really is. Now, there are a lot of sorts of theories. I also think the other theory out there is she could be a Dooku. That's my other theory. That, that We're going to go into that in a little bit. So, theory number one here is that she is a descendant of Darth Revan, one of the last or the most powerful Grey Force user ever. So, the theory is that she is the last line of a hidden Force family. Those didn't exist in the New, in the new Order. In the Old Republic, Force families were prominent. They were encouraged. They were, because Force families, they, the next generation would grow stronger. So that was the purpose of Force families. Um, so I think that Revan's family never truly died out, but only went into hiding. Where? I do not know. But eventually someone somewhere caught up with them, and it may have been completely unrelated to the fact that they were descendants of Revan, that the parents were chased down and presumably killed. But they were able to drop Rey off on a planet where she would be hidden, at least until she reached maturity, where she would grow and harden, and to now the point where by the middle, towards the end of Episode 9, she is going to be, I want to say, on a level of Master Yoda, would be my best, would be my bet in terms of skill and power. She's going to grow quickly. So that is theory number one, that Rey is a descendant of Darth Revan, and that she will fall to the dark side but not let it consume her, and then that she will come back and become a Grey Force user and start a new order of Grey Force users, encompassing the entirety of the Force. So, that is prediction number one. Prediction number two will be... This one is a bit more realistic. The Revan theory is kind of a huge stretch. 
I mean, saying that somehow over 3,000 years the family never died out and somehow always managed to keep the line going, it's impressive, but it's a huge stretch. So, I know it's a huge stretch, but I think that'd be an awesome theory, is that somehow she comes into the powers of Revan, she becomes a gray force user, a power, excuse me, powerful one, mastering both sides of the force, and truly leading the galaxy into the direction it was meant to go. So that is an awesome theory. Now we will move on to theory number two, and probably the bit more of a realistic theory in terms. So, I think there is also a possibility that Rey could be a Dooku. Yes. Uh, as in Count Dooku. I mentioned him a few minutes ago. Now, why do I think this could be a possibility? Count Dooku, for most of his life, was a Jedi. Of course, they had no attachments. But, after he left, he became Count Sereno again, which is Count of Sereno, which, while being there, is a political position. So, <sighs> there was ample opportunity during the Clone Wars for him to after, of course, not having sex for years and years and years, father a child. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. Once again, this theory is a slight stretch, I want to say. It's, it's stretching things a little bit. I haven't seen anyone think he could be a Duke, Ray could be a Dooku, but I think it could be possible. So, of course, Luke never met Dooku, so... It's hard to say that Luke has seen that power once before, and of course he never saw Dooku, but I mean, he did know of him. But of course, Sidious was Dooku's master, and Dooku learned the dark side from Sidious. So, this theory is that she is the granddaughter, or great-granddaughter, depending on whatever exact years, of Count Dooku, who was as close to a Grey Force user, as I think you're going to find, at least from the dark side. Uh, extremely powerful, potent in both sides of the Force, could use Force Lightning, was an expert dueler with a lightsaber. Absolutely fantastic. His master was Yoda and Darth Sidious. Two amazing people to learn from, power-wise. So, I think it's a feasible theory that... Eventually, she will come into her own, but I do think in the end it's going to come out the same way. Where she is going to end up as a Grey Force user, she will have mastered both sides of the Force, and she will lead a new order in maintaining peace in the galaxy. I do think that. So, that those are two theories that I would really love to see come into play. I mean, I don't think she's a Skywalker. I don't think she's a Kenobi. I don't. I definitely don't think she's a Solo. We would know. I do think Palpatine is a good possibility. Palpatine is a good theory, but I'm and it seems to be realistic of coming true. But I'm not sure it will. I don't know. So I'm throwing those two theories out there. Is she a is she a Revan or is she a Dooku? Um, let's see. What else do I want to predict? Oh, my predictions for the end of Star Wars. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I think it's going to go. Uh, Snoke will be defeated. Uh, Kylo will either die and go a similar way to Vader, just like his grandfather, or he will reform and join Rey in leading the New Order. One of those two. Rey, I believe, will become kind of the new Grandmaster. She will replace Luke and kind of lead the galaxy into a New Order. That is where I think the movies are going. Now... I'm going to make another video on how I would like to see a fourth trilogy. And I will go through my theories for that and all I want to happen in those trilogies in the next video that I'll be putting up today. So I will see you guys next time. Richard the Guru out. Please like, please subscribe. I want those subs. Uh, when I hit 100 subs, I'll be doing some sort of giveaway maybe. Um, for like maybe an iTunes gift card or something to say thank you. I'll do the same thing when I hit a thousand and whatever. So thank you guys. Richard the Guru out. I'll be posting another Star Wars video today. I hope you enjoy. Peace. And enjoy your Star Wars.
day. May the force be with you.